Well, the apéro is a real part of the French food experience, and we'll take a closer look at it now in a brand new segment for you on France 24. Joining me on the set is Thibaut Le Marier, the founder of Cuisinez Vous Le Français. Thibaut, welcome. Hello, Jenny. First of all, what is Cuisinez Vous Le Français? Cuisinez Vous Le Français is a small program for French enthusiasts who want to practice French in a fun way. So, very basically, it is a little video per associating a uh, linguistic point and a f delicious French recipe. Okay, so today we're going to focus on the cooking part. Uh, summer exactly. is coming, and many people in France often kick off these long summer evenings with what we call the apéro. First of all, what is this word, the apéro? The apéro, it comes from aperitif. As it's a very convivial moment, it has a diminutive, apéro. Basically, it's before the meal, and people were gathering together to have a nice time. And it's a uh, light food and drinks. But as more and more people enjoy this format, basically sometimes they just forget to have the meal afterwards. So it's uh, taking longer and longer. That's happened to me several times. Now, it's funny because in the United States, where I'm from, we actually call these little appetizers mm -hmm. hors d'oeuvres, which everyone seems to think I thought was a French word, but we don't actually use that word in France at all. Not that much. When you get in a high gastronomy, then you have different kinds of entrances, entrée, and then one of them is hors d'oeuvre, but then it becomes more and more precise. For us, apéro is a good beginning. Apéro. All right, we'll stick with apéro. So today you're going to teach us how to make mm -hmm. one of these aperos. What is it? Today we're going to uh, discover a nice tartine, because uh, people usually buy crepes or peanuts, but we could do better. A tartine, so bread with something on exactly. it. Exactly. We're going to have a tartine with onion, with a rocket uh, salad, with a reblochon, and with mustard. Basically, uh, reblochon is a very special French cheese. It comes from the 13th century. And people at this time were uh, milking the cows and were paying every single day the taxes. So they were milking less, paying the tax, and after they were milking once more. So they reblochet. Ah. They milked again, which is very funny. So basically, French tax invented a new cheese. In oh. a way. <laughs> it certainly did. There are so many cheeses here in France. As you, as you were speaking, we saw some pictures behind you of just how you're going to put this apéro for us together. Can you talk us through it? Yes, it's very easy. So basically, first you slice some bread, about one centimeter thick. Then you slice very thinly the reblochon. Of course, you keep the crust, which is going to give some flavor to the dish. After you take the peel, you uh, peel it, and you slice also some very thin slices. You chop your onion, the red onion, and then you add it. Um, after you take your bread, you add the mustard. Uh, if you want, we took an old mustard for the um, crunchy uh, pieces inside. Like what but we if, call a Dijon mustard? Alors, Dijon mustard is stronger. Ah. It's thinner but stronger. If you, you could choose, of course, it doesn't make a huge difference. You to choose, and then you add on your tartine. The um, you alternate the peel and the cheese, and after you put a little bit of garlic. Then you put everything on a cooking uh, paper. You leave in the oven for 10 minutes, more or less, uh, with, at uh, 180 degrees. And then you could add some little lettuce at the end, a uh, so little um, rocket uh, salad at the end for a fresh taste. And voila. All right, Thibaut, that looks pretty straightforward. Pear, reblochon cheese, rocket salad, mustard, and what am I forgetting? Red onion. The bread. The bread. Of course. And the bread. Now, once it's all done, show us exactly what it looks like. Yeah, well, you have uh, one of uh, those uh, tartines, which are now uh, starting to invite me to get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, invite me to get eaten. What would you drink with something like this? Because, of course, apéro is also all about the cocktail or the drink that goes with the food. That's right. Of course, we will try to stay in the Alpine region, where the Roblochon comes from, and we will go for the uh, dry white wine. We have a Chateau de Roson making some great wine in this uh, area. You should try Thibault Le Marier, thank you so much. Now, you can get that full apéro recipe on the website, cuisinezvouslefrancais.com. It's a great resource as well if you want to learn French. Now, if you want to cheat a little bit, you can check out the apéro recipe we just did today in English on their Learning English website, doyoucookenglish.com. It will also be on my Facebook page. That's at Jeannie Godula.